Like, tell the story a little bit about the person who bought your first book. How did that feel? That was feel? so exciting. To have somebody come up to me at the end of the night and be like, so so how much is this? I'm like, uh, uh I don't know. Hold on. Let me check. And I didn't even have a pen because I was like, oh, do you want me to sign it? And he's like, I'd love that. And I was like, oh, do you have a pen? <laughs> <laughs> so he had to give me a pen, which was a little embarrassing. I really should have come more prepared. But it was really cool. I He was like, this is like the coolest book I've ever heard of. I'm so excited to read it. And it felt really good to know that somebody else cared. So going into my senior year, I was feeling really uncomfortable about my purpose in life. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I was just sort of assuming that fashion was the thing that I was gonna do. Like it, it sort of made sense based on my interests and it just seemed like the next logical step to follow. Even just, I think you did the hard thing, which is sort of admitting that you didn't have it all figured out. And you know, as much as like, you're like, ah, oh, well, you know, I don't know this. A lot of people just won't admit that they don't have it figured out, right? And sort yeah. of say like, I don't, I don't know what I need to discover. And so I think the biggest thing that for you was like, I need to discover and I need to put myself through a process to do it, which is sort of amazing to see. And I think yeah. this book is, it's amazing. It's fun. It's, I loved working on it with you. Cause like, I, I didn't really even like think about themes parks in the way that you would position it until like going through it with you. And yeah. like my takeaway from the book, you know, is it actually, we should study theme parks more if we want to understand technology. Cause they're always at the forefront of this stuff. I was really excited for somebody to finally ask me what I wanted to do. Hmm. And I've, my parents are so great and they're very involved in my life, which is, I'm very lucky to have that. But at the same time, sometimes it's a bit overwhelming and a bit stifling, like for them to sort of tell me what I should be doing rather than what I want to be doing. Mm -hmm. So I went into the process really open-minded. Like you said, I had no clue what I wanted to do. So I was like, I'm just going to sort of like go with the flow and let what happens happens. But my mom, she's so sweet. She wouldn't let that happen. <laughs> so before our first class, she was like, you need to write 10 potential book ideas before you get started, you know, to prepare and really know what you're going to do. And I was like, that's not what I'm, no, that's not the purpose of this. That's not what I'm here for. I just want to like. I love your mom, but it's wrong, right? Yeah, like, it's I was like, like, <laughs> it was like, that's sweet. I appreciate that, but that's not what I'm here for. So I just jumped into it without expectations, just hoping that even if nothing happened or even if I ended up like not taking the class that mm -hmm. I would at least have a direction in life or like at least discover something that I could see myself doing for a while. But you don't really want to go into something that's logically makes sense. You want to do something that you're passionate about and right. that you want to wake up and be excited about every morning. So I it was like really scary going into my <laughs> senior year. I didn't have that feeling and getting the question from family members during vacation, like, so what are you going to do next? What are your plans? And I had to be like, mm, I don't know. Like, stop asking me. I'm getting really uncomfortable about it. And then Jordan sent me the link to this class and he was like, check this out. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. Like, I'm not sure what this is. And then reading it, like seeing like discover your passion, you know, do something about it. I was like, okay, this is what I need in my life. The world is so big and we don't realize how big it is. And luckily we have technology to help us sort of scale it down a little bit. So we did that exercise where we would go and find our dream job, mm -hmm. whatever that may be. So you go on LinkedIn and you click a bunch of companies that you would potentially like to work for. So for me, that was everything from Vogue to National Geographic to, and then I was like, why not? I really love Disneyland. Like that would be fun to do stuff for them. So I like clicked that and I was just scrolling and scrolling and writing things down that appealed to me. And I saw theme park designer and I was like, wow, I didn't realize that people actually got to do that. Like they don't, you know, it seems silly now that theme parks are just like appear out of thin air, but yep. I didn't, it wasn't something that I had ever considered before. And being able to see the opportunities that were out there, ones that I didn't even consider, was so helpful in giving me a range of options that I didn't realize were in front of me. I think it was my gut, honestly. Like when I saw that and when it started to sink in, something inside me just like clicked and it felt so right. Like this was something that I had meant to be doing mm -hmm. and I just followed that instinct. I didn't, I, when I first told people what I was writing about, I got a lot of silly looks and a lot of like, oh, okay, <laughs> weird, all right. <laughs> and I had to just sort of be like, yeah, like this is what I'm really excited about. And I just, I've always been good at not listening to other people. So that helped a lot. I feel like if I was 
more you know comfortable like changing my opinion i it would have been more difficult for me to mm -hmm. stick with what i had initially wanted to do but i was excited to prove everybody wrong yeah, yeah. like that was that really motivated me to continue <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible i my entire world view has changed not just in regards to like how i view career life it's how i view life in general hmm. i feel much more confident going out into the world and talking to people i'm i'm a little bit more introverted in comparison if you know my brother he's <laughs> yeah. very outgoing very charismatic so in comparison i've always felt like i was a little bit more introverted and i have a harder time just like talking to random people yeah and that was partially because i felt like i didn't know all the answers whereas this this has given me the opportunity to to like to ask questions and to not necessarily be the smartest person in the room mm -hmm. and to just be curious and learn all the time 